adding fractions with different denominators. This includes denominators that aren't multiples of the same number. To go through the activities in this video, you do need to be familiar with simplifying fractions, finding equivalent fractions, ordering fractions with different denominators, and converting mixed numbers and improper fractions. First one we're going to add, 5 sixths add 3 quarters. As with ordering fractions, we have to make the denominators the same before you can start adding them. So we need to look for a common denominator with 6 and 4. Both 6 and 4 will go into 12. 12 is the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4. To get from 6 to 12, we multiply by 2. So we're going to do the same with the numerator. To get from 4 to 12, we multiply by 3. So we're going to do the same with the numerator. Now we have 10 twelfths add 9 twelfths. So we're looking at how many twelfths we have. Now we add the numerators together, and that's 19. You'll notice that we have an improper fraction. The numerator is bigger than the denominator. We need to convert this to a mixed number. To do this, we look at the denominator 12 and say how many times does that go into the numerator? 12 goes into 19 once. How many twelfths are left over? If you take 12 from 19, you're left with 7. So the answer is 1 and 7 twelfths. And just double check in case your fraction can be simplified. But here it can't. This one's for you to try. Remember to make the denominators the same and at the end check if you can simplify it. Pause the video, have a go. We need to find the common denominator. The lowest common multiple of 5 and 3 is 15. So we'll make the denominator 15. To get from 5 to 15 we multiply by 3. So we're going to do the same with the 4. And to get from 3 to 15 we multiply by 5. So we're going to do the same with the 2. Now the denominators are the same, we can add them together. How many fifteenths do we have? 12 and 10 is 22. You can see that you have an improper fraction, so we're going to convert this to a mixed number. How many fifteens are there in 22? We can get 15 out of 22 once. How many fifteenths are left over? 22 take away 15 is 7. So the answer is 1 and 7 fifteenths. Again, check if it can be simplified, but it can't. Subtracting fractions is exactly the same, except at the end you take away instead of adding. We still have to make the denominators the same. The lowest common denominator for 5 and 7 is 35. To get from 5 to 35, we multiplied by 7. So we do the same with the 3. To get from 7 to 35, we multiplied by 5. So we do the same with the 4. Now we can do the subtraction. We have 21 over 35. Take away 20 over 35. That leaves us with 1 over 35. And because there's only 1, it can't be simplified. Here's a subtraction for you to try. Remember to make the denominators the same. Pause the video, have a go. Use some bigger numbers this time. We're making the denominators the same. The lowest common denominator for 8 and 9 is 72. To get from 8 to 72, we multiply by 9. So if we multiply 5 by 9, that's 45. To get from 9 to 72, we multiply by 8. So we multiply 4 by 8 to make 32. Now we can do the subtraction. How many out of 72 do we have left? 45 take 32 is 13. And just double check that 13 doesn't go into 72, and it doesn't, so we can't simplify it.